In Activity 7, A Separate Shadow, students first observe and record the movement of a discrete shadow at different times of the day. They then predict the direction of movement of the shadow and finally discover that a shadow moves as the sun's position changes. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 7, Assorted Chalk, Foam Ring, and Masking Tape. You will also need to provide chart paper, scissors, and string. To prepare for session one, locate a window where sunlight comes in for a good part of the day and falls on an unobstructed floor area. If the window faces east, the student observations must take place in the morning. If the window faces the west, the observations must take place in the afternoon. If the window faces south, you may conduct morning and afternoon observation sessions. Note that a window that faces north will not work for this activity. The floor area you select must be large enough to accommodate a series of circles as the sun moves throughout the day. Also, make sure to complete this activity on a day when the sun is expected to shine all day. Next, cut a piece of string long enough to suspend the foam ring in the middle of the window and tape one end of the string to the foam ring. Then, tape together two long sheets of chart paper to cover the area where sunlight coming in the window will fall during the course of the day. To begin session one, gather students around the designated window. Make sure they stand back far enough to not block the sunlight coming through. Tape the string holding the foam ring to the top of the window so that the ring is suspended in the middle of the window and its shadow falls onto the floor and point out the shadow to the class. Ask students, what do you think will happen to the shadow during the day? Accept all reasonable suggestions. Students may understand that the shadow will move. Then ask, how can we test our ideas about what will happen to the shadow? If the students do not suggest it, tell them that you can record the location of the shadow at different times during the day. Ask students, what times during the day would be good times to check the location of the shadow? Come to consensus as to the times that you will check the shadow. Note that this should be at least once an hour. Next, lay the chart paper on the floor in front of the window so that it covers the area where the sun will fall during the day. Use masking tape to anchor the chart paper so it cannot be moved accidentally. Then, invite a volunteer to color in the shadow on the paper using blue chalk and record the time of day. At the next time interval, invite a second volunteer to color in the shadow on the paper using green chalk and record the time of day. Ask students, where do you think the shadow will be at the next checking time? Accept all ideas. Guide students to understand that whether the shadow moves farther from the window or closer to it will depend on the time of day. However, the shadow will always move eastward as the sun moves westward. Have the students make a small X on the paper where they think the shadow will be later. After another 45 minutes pass, invite a third volunteer to color in the shadow on the paper using red chalk and record the time. Next, ask students, what is happening to the shadow? Students should see that the shadow is moving. Show them that the ring has not moved and ask, then why do you think the shadow is moving? Guide students to understand that the shadow is moving because the sun is moving. To conclude session one, ask students, where do you think the shadow will be at the next checking time? Accept all ideas and have the students make a small X on the paper where they think the shadow will be later. To prepare for session two, make a copy of activity sheet seven for each student. To begin session two, invite a fourth volunteer, 45 minutes later, to color in the shadow on the paper using yellow chalk and record the time of day. Help the students recall how they noted that shadows changed places in activity four. Ask students, what was the difference about the movement of the shadow in this activity? Students should note that in this case, the shadow was not connected to the ground and the whole shadow moved to a new place. Then ask, 
In both cases, what caused the movement of the shadows? Students should have discovered that in both cases, the movement of the sun caused the movement of the shadow. As the sun's place in the sky changed, the shadow's place on the ground or floor changed. Finally, give each student a copy of Activity Sheet 7 and instruct students to draw the shadows they observe during the day beneath the picture of the window. To conclude Session 2, remove the ring from the window and return the chalk, masking tape, and foam ring to the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.